Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y squared equals x cubed at the point P with coordinates t squared comma t cubed. Hence find where the tangent meets the curve again. Okay, so firstly we need to find the equation of the tangent. So we need to get the derivative at this point. We need to work out what the gradient is, which is the derivative. So there's two ways you can do it. You can differentiate this, which most people would do, but I'll just show you another way of finding the gradient at this point. So if we look here, we have two parametric equations, x equals t squared and y equals t cubed. Now, we want dy on dx, which is the gradient of the tangent. So dy on dx, how are we going to get this? Well, dy on dx... We can get it by dy on dt times dt on dx. Okay, and dy on dt multiplied by 1 over dx on dt. So we just took the reciprocal of a reciprocal here. Okay, so you can see that dy on dx is going to be dy on dt divided by dx on dt. So this is something that you can use in general when you have parametric equations and you want to find a derivative. This is the method that I like to use. That's just a personal preference. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this. dy on dt, that's differentiating this with respect to t, so that's going to be 3t squared divided by dx and dt, which is differentiating this, so that's going to be 2t. Okay, and so we can cancel the t and we'll get 3t on 2. That's dy on dx. Now, we need the value of the gradient at the point p, so at p, which has these coordinates, dy on dx, is still going to be equal to 3t on 2. So this is equal to the gradient of the tangent. So even though this still gives us this, you should probably put this step in just to show that this is going to be the gradient at the point p. Okay, now let's use our equation of a line with a gradient and a point. So the point is the point P, which we're given the coordinates of. So Y minus Y1, so Y1 is T cubed, is equal to the gradient, which we just worked out, multiplied by X minus X1, which was T squared. Okay, let's do a bit of simplification. 2Y minus 2T cubed is equal to 3TX minus 3t cubed. And we can bring this across here to simplify further and we get minus t cubed. Okay, and so this is our equation of our tangent. Okay, so maybe we'll say equation of tangent at p. Alright, so We've done the first part of the question, which was to find the equation of the tangent. The next part says, find where the tangent meets the curve again. So, let's call, let's just rewrite this equation by dividing by 2 on both sides. So y is equal to a half 3tx minus t cubed. And let's call this equation 1. And since we need to find where this tangent meets the curve again, we're going to need to solve them simultaneously. Okay, so let's call this number 2. And so we can substitute 1 into 2. And we'll see what we get. Get some paper. Okay. Now, let's substitute this into here, and we're going to get a half 
into 3tx minus t cubed, all of this is going to be squared, and that's equal to x cubed. Okay, this is going to be a quarter, and then we raise this to the power 2, so that's going to be, well, let's see, 9t squared x squared minus 2 times this times this, so that's going to be 6t to the 4x plus this term squared, which will be t to the 6. That's equal to x cubed. Okay. Now, let's multiply by 4 and bring everything to one side. So we're going to have 4x cubed, and now bringing all these terms onto this side, minus 9t squared x squared, plus 6t to the 4x, minus t to the 6 is equal to 0. Okay, and let's call this equation 3. Now, what is this? This is a polynomial in terms of x. But what do the x values here represent? Let's see. The solutions of the start equation, so the solutions of this equation represent the x coordinates of the intersection of the tangent with the curve. And this is the, key, the crucial thing that you need to identify. The tangent with the curve. Okay, so identifying this step here is crucial in you being able to solve this question. Okay, now since our curve touched our tangent, we have a tangent to the curve. Now since there's a tangent, that means that at P we have a double root. So what can we say? Now you, you, you should be writing these in an exam, you should write these statements or statements similar, just depending on the question, but you should write similar statements in order to justify your steps so that you can get maximum marks. So we can say since the line is tangent at P with x equal to t squared, so this was the x coordinate at which it was tangent to the curve. Let me move this out of the way now. So since this is this line was tangent at P with x equals t squared, this is a double root of equation 3, right? Oh, so this should be 3, not star. So this is a double root of equation 3. Alright, now, if we know that this is a double root, then, and this is an equation for x cubed, that means we only have one other root that we need to find out the equation of. And that root is going to be the x coordinate of the other point in which the tangent meets the line, which is what we're trying to find. So we can say, let, I don't know, alpha, x equal alpha, be the other root of equation 3. So therefore, what can we say? We can say that x equals alpha is the x coordinate of the other point of intersection between tangent and curve. Okay, so I know that these statements here are tedious, but justifying your steps will ensure that you get maximum marks. So, now that we have this, we can try to solve for alpha. Now, trying to solve this 
equation. It's going to be tremendously difficult. But what we can do, we can apply the sum of roots formula, which is equal to minus b on a. And since we know what two of the roots are, namely a double root at t squared, so adding all the roots, t squared plus the other t squared, and plus our remaining unknown root, which is alpha, this is going to be minus of minus 9 t squared divided by 4. So I'm going to get 2t squared plus alpha is equal to 9t squared over 4. And so, therefore, alpha is equal to, when we subtract 2t squared from both sides, we're going to get t squared to the power 4. Not to the power 4, divided by 4. Okay, so now that we have that, we can say, therefore, tangent meets curve at x equals t squared over 4. Now we want the coordinates, so we also need the y coordinate, but that's simple enough to work out. We have that y squared equals x cubed, and when we substitute this in, x equals t squared over 4, we're going to get that y squared is equal to t squared over 4 cubed, which is equal to t to the 6 over 4 cubed, which is 64. And so therefore, y is going to be plus or minus t cubed over 8. Okay, and so therefore, tangent meets curve again at these points, t squared over 4 plus or minus t cubed over 8. Okay, and that's the final answer. So, the trick here was to identify that this equation here, the solutions of this equation, represent the x-coordinates of the points of intersection of the tangent with the curve. And then to identify that when we have a tangent, this is a double root. Okay, thanks for watching.